Sunshine Quality Assured Collisions Weekly Bites is sponsored by Sunshine Quality Assured Collision. Hey everyone, welcome back to the show. Rob Feeney was just using his frying pan as a banjo and you missed it. Of course, he is of uh, the Cactus Club Cafe. How are you, Rob? I'm great. How are the holidays for a chef? Does everybody ask you to cook? Uh, yeah. <laughs> but I look, you know what the funny thing is? I'm actually okay with it. It's, it's, uh, it's one of those times a year for me. It's funny because I'm going back. I'm back to the Winnipeg. Um, and uh, I'm cooking. That's As soon as I arrive, I cook. And then I've got, yeah. But I mean, I love it, though. It's something for me that any chef, I think, that, you know, especially when you're at home, it's a little more relaxed because you're sort of down, you know, you know there's no, well, I shouldn't say there's pressure. There is. So I got my Well, three you can days. have a glass of wine, can chill out in the oh, kitchen. Yes. Now, do you do a traditional turkey dinner with your family? Is that what you do? <laughs> well, it's funny because I normally do every year. It's one of those things that for me, you know, the Jack Daniels Brine turkey, I think I did that, something similar you with you guys. You did that uh, last year, I think. Yeah. And uh, I've been doing that for years, but I think that this year I talked to my wife when she was like, she said, can you do the, your, your short ribs? Or mm. So it's kind of what my wife would like. So I think I'm going to cook around my you're so smart. This year is going to be un, not. Tr what's the word? Non-traditional. There. <laughs> okay, so we're doing something non-traditional right now. Yes, what we are, are we making? Well, we're going to do. You know what I wanted to do is I actually was thinking. I was telling you earlier. I wanted to do something that was a little bit, a little bit more fun. And this is something over the holidays. I think you can do not like any time you want. So what we're going to do is I've got. Nothing these, says fun like sauerkraut. These are pork chops, but these are, these pork chops have been smoked, right? So these okay. are these beautiful loin. So what I've done. Did you just done, get those at any butcher? The smoked ones. Yeah. As a matter of fact, yes. The, you can get these at Granville Island. Okay. Uh, and. Yeah, they're they're available, and, and the reason why they're they're so good is that smoke is the, is going to give what we're going to do, which is the sauerkraut base mm -hmm. dish. I'm going to do so. This is kind of an Alsatian because I worked for Michelle Jacob in, in Vancouver here. Yeah. So I worked in Alsace. So this is kind of Alsace slash Asia, a little bit of a combination. What I've done, and I'll just show people ahead of time. Okay. Is the sauerkraut because I'm going to show you the sauce quickly, but the sauerkraut is you can any just the regular sauerkraut, the store bought sauerkraut. What you want to do is buy it and then strain it out of all the liquid. Yeah. Okay, once you strain it all the liquid, it's really simple after that. You take it, put it in a pot, you make a little sachet, what we call, or you can take a little bit of uh, bay leaf. Yeah. There's some star anise, okay? We've got some coriander, and there's some cloves, right? And you That's an make a little bit of sachet. Combo. It's a great combo. So you take that into a little packet, you put that in with the sauerkraut, and then that beautiful bottle of Riesling over there, any Riesling you like. This is Kung Fu Riesling from Washington State. Beautiful Riesling, by the way. Yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, well. Yes, let's get into the Cheers. wine. Cheers. Are nice little to, Riesling. So Riesling with the sauerkraut. <laughs> Sorry, I, 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 I was going to have a cocktail in the middle of this. Can't do that. i got to focus. Well, but, I can. What are we having? So the, uh, Riesling from Kung, Kung, Kung Fu Riesling. But this, what, we, what you do then is, like I said, you've got the sauerkraut, and you have your little sachet. You take a little bit of the Riesling, pour it in, and then cover it. And then what we do is take a little bit of bacon. This is a double smoked bacon as well. Oh, good bacon. Put some of that bacon in, and your end result, you, you cook it for about an hour, hour and a half, longer okay. if you like. It absorbs all the reasoning. It turns a little bit darker in color. And this goes really good with the dish we're doing, which is the pork. But this also goes well, if you like fish, this goes really well with salmon. Believe it or a not. A lot of people are kind of afraid to use sauerkraut, but you know what? It's, it's delicious. It's, it's really good. I mean, can you, you can imagine that. You add a little bit of cream to that, maybe. Put a little piece of salmon on top. Mm, mm, yummy. Yum. So what, what I've done. And we got in our little. So, so this is, what I've done is we've taken the same pork, right? Yeah. With this sauerkraut, put it into a little bit of a casserole dish and layered it, right? So we've cooked it. And on the bottom, I've got another one on the, here, on the so bottom. So you've got both uh, pork yeah. chops just kind of buried in there. So, so this is going to soak give, up all the flavor. That's right. This is actually an Alsace, because we're going to finish this in a sec. Okay. This is an Alsace, what you get, which is called uh, choucroute garni. Um, what that means is the choucroute with the garnishes, and that's usually a, a bunch of the pork pieces, mm -hmm. okay? So we're going to plate this in a sec. So I've got okay. the pork there. And the sauce is real simple. We just got a little bit of, this is a little bit of ice wine. This is some grainy mustard. Mm. Okay, and then we're going to take a little bit of soy, just like that. This won't the take long to heat up. The soy is an interesting move. Is that something you've added, or is that? That's my twist. Yeah? That's my. So that's, that's where my, we're going. The Asian. So we're going route? to slash Alsa slash 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 slash. slash, slash Asia. Let's have Asia. some more wine. Uh, okay. <laughs> Surprisingly, neither of us have had any. We and can't a, talk. And a little bit of the a little bit of the reasoning. No, I like the combination because it goes really well with the sauerkraut. So mm -hmm. this is the plating. We're just going to wait for that to come to a boil. Okay, let me move some of this out of the way. So we're going to take a little bit of the sauerkraut. Yep, okay. Yeah. This is this, and the great thing about this, this is a great. We talked about this earlier. This is a great hangover dish, by the way. I know, and that was the first thing I thought. You can see where my head's at. New Year's Day, yeah. you want to have the hangover food, and I'm guessing that you can keep the sauerkraut. It would keep in the fridge. Yes. Yeah. This is a, like I said. This is a great. My wife already asked me before I made this for you. She's like, Are we, "Can we do this can over we the holidays?" Can we do this? I said yes. So there. This is like I said. It's real simple. Yeah. Right? This is a little bit of mashed potato you can make at home. Okay. And then the sauce, like I said, is just a really light sauce. It, it's it's, and you can. 
add butter to this, or you can keep it really light. We'll just we can add butter. Well, we're gonna add butter. Of course, we've we're got, gonna add we've butter. We've got butter. If, Why not add it? We are. It gives gonna, it such a nice finish when you add the butter. But this can go. We've got the pork with the sauerkraut. You could do this with it with chicken if you wanted to. You could put chicken in that place. You could put fish in the place of that if you want. In All the, really. In the crock pot. No, I wouldn't do that in the crock pot. The no. crock is just for the pork. Okay. But the, but the actual sauerkraut itself is a great, and same with the mashed potatoes. So you can sub in other proteins if you want. So mm. the sauce, like I said, this little bit of butter sauce we made. Just let it melt. Yeah, just let it melt. Mm. And then we're just going to pour this on the top. And I love the grainy mustard with uh, the pork. Yeah, this is, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> that's the vinegar. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you inhale Sorry. the vinegar. I do that. You know what? I don't know. I got ever since I, I used to call vinegar vinegar when I was a kid. So whenever I smell the vinegar, I guess my my go to the yeah, crazy. Yeah, I think everybody has that but, reaction. So this, this is a great so dish. Good. So I just thought this is something neat for people to try yeah. at home. It's not that difficult to make. Like I was telling you, it's something if you make the sauerkraut, this can actually stay in your fridge for weeks. And it actually gets better when you keep reheating it. The yeah. flavor gets better and better it's, and better. It's so, one of those things that really does get better. And in terms of price. It's a very economical dish to make because you're not going to spend a lot of money. You could literally yeah. feed a family of, let's say, four or five for like less than $20 for Amazing. everything. Amazing. Right? Yeah. Now, do we have the lemons here just for show? Or are we supposed to do something with them? Uh, I could have put some in the sauce, right? <laughs> we it's true, though. But no, no, it's true. It's true. But we're freestyling. No, but, I... um, but your recipes, people email them. <laughs> email uh, us if you want Rob's recipe. Uh, what did we call this dish again? Uh, you're distracting me with the lemon. Oh, en, en français, this is choucou garni with some pork so and uh, mashed potatoes. So if you can potatoes. spell it, you can email us at urbanrush at shaw.ca mm -hmm. and uh, we'll send you the recipe. <laughs> uh, we're going to take a quick break and when we return, Mike's not here, so I'm going to show you 950,000 cat videos right after this. Don't go away. I just realized I'd use my fingers to eat that. Weekly Bites is sponsored by Sunshine Quality Assured Collision.